What's up YouTube and welcome to Travel Adventures with Eric B. I'm Eric B and today we're going to talk about 12 foods that you should try when you come to the state of Louisiana. Plus we have a couple bonus as well so come along. <laughs> We're gonna go to several stops today. We're gonna start at one of my favorite stops locally right here in Baton Rouge is Tony Seafood, which has a tremendous amount of seafood. And obviously there's gonna be a lot of seafood in this video, but it's not all seafood. As you can see the catfish right there. Catfish is a big thing in Louisiana. Folks, the headquarters for Louisiana Fish Fry is right next door to Tony Seafood. Louisiana Fish Fry is a product that you can find all over the country, not just in Louisiana. So you may have seen this product before if you live in a totally different state around the country. As there, we love to fry everything in Louisiana, as you can tell. The first food you should try when you come to Louisiana is crawfish. Not crayfish, crawfish. And one thing that people in Louisiana love to do is to buy crawfish alive, take it and put it in a big old pot and do a crawfish boil. Now you, most people do crawfish boils and they have corn, they have potatoes, and they have uh, sausage and things like that to go along with the boil. And it's an excellent way to spend time watching a game, just hanging out, drinking some beers, boil some crawfish. Or you could buy the crawfish in the pack. The Louisiana crawfish obviously would be the best one instead of the foreign crawfish. But you could do so many things. It's a versatile thing. You can make crawfish pies as you see right here. You can also make pasta those and do different things with crawfish you can use it as a stuffing as well a lot of times people stuff pork tenderloins chickens and things like that the next food you should try when you come to louisiana is jambalaya one of louisiana's signature dishes jambalaya is an american creole and cajun rice dish with influences from africa france and spain it consists mainly of vegetables rice meat stock and seasoning the most popular meats you're going to find in your jambalaya are going to be shrimp andouille sausage and chicken but if seasoned just right jambalaya is a perfect dish it's one of my absolute favorites louisiana food that you have to have is boudin so in my favorite local boudin shop, just a couple miles from my house, Jerry Lee's Boudin. In my opinion, they have the best boudin around as far as the boudin links are concerned. Now, there are many places you could go if you like boudin balls as well. This is a place for boudin links. So if you want the links, these are the best links that I've had right here at Jerry Lee's. And I get these once every couple weeks. For those of you who generally don't know what boudin is, boudin is a sausage. It's basically your pork case and it's stuffed with seasoning and it has you generally shrimp, crawfish, or alligator meat as the meat. Generally, I do shrimp or crawfish and there's a seafood as well in the casing. Now, going back to the history of boudin, boudin is French. However, the original boudin called boudin blanc and boudin noir in French differs a lot from the Cajun Boudin, which comes from the Acadians who migrated from uh, Nova Scotia and France to the Louisiana Creole culture that we know here today that created Cajun Boudin. So obviously Boudin is big in the Acadiana part of the state. One of the most popular spots in the state to get Boudin and crackling is Billy's Boudin in Scott, Louisiana, Acadiana, right outside of Lafayette. Now inside of Billy's Boudin, now that's my lunch right there. That's some big old Boudin balls. I love boudin sausage, but the boudin balls are also very good. Try both. The next Louisiana food you have to try is king cake. Now, unfortunately, king cake is only available during carnival season. And for those of us who live here in Louisiana that have to have our king cake every year, we realize the first of the year we ain't going on a diet because king cake generally comes out the first of the year and it's all about Mardi Gras. Now, king cake is a French oval shaped pastry which signifies Mardi Gras and the three Mardi Gras colors of gold purple and green gold is for power purple is for justice and green signifies signifies faith and king cake can be found everywhere in Louisiana and there's so many different types of king cake my personal 
favorite is going to be pralines and cream cheese. However, there's so many different types you can try from strawberry to banana foster to pretty much every single type of fruit that you can think of. So many different flavors, and they're all great. And that king cake right there came out of Billy's Boudin, and that's a really good king cake as well. Love king cake. The next thing you should try in Louisiana is pralines, not pralines. I know in some parts of the country they say pralines, but in Louisiana it's pralines. And these are very prominent in the New Orleans area and all over the state. There's so many praline shops everywhere, and you should try them. The next item you should try in Louisiana is a po' boy. Not to be confused with a hoagie, which is served on Italian bread. A po' boy is served on a softer French bread, baguette bread, usually toasted and generally stuffed with a variety of different meats. One thing about the po' boy is you can get a po' boy all different types. You can get... You can get your traditional po' boy with your shrimp and your fried fish, or you can do oysters, you can do roast beef, you can do turkey. You can do so many different types of meats on a po' boy that it's pretty remarkable how much you can do and how versatile a po' boy is. A po' boy is generally dressed with tomatoes, lettuce, pickles, and mayo. The next, the next one's definitely for my pastry lovers, and that's the beignet. The beignet is a deep-fried French pastry that you could find pretty much everywhere in New Orleans. Uh, a little bit harder, I guess you could say, to find in other parts of the state, but you know, there are places in Baton Rouge where I live that you can find beignets pretty frequently. So it's definitely a Louisiana dish. It's a deep fried pastry. It kind of reminds you of funnel cake uh, in a sense. If you're someone that's from somewhere else and you're trying to figure out how to compare beignets, except they're not as big, but they're a really good pastry. I have a video with Means to Travel that I put out a while back comparing the two famous beignet shops in Louisiana a Cafe Du Monde to Cafe Beignet. Make sure you go check that video out. I'll link it in the description. But beignets are definitely to be tried. The next thing you got to try when you're in Louisiana is fried seafood. Now, it may not be the healthiest for you. Get a big old helping of some uh, artery clogging seafood fried up. But, you know, get off of that diet before you come to Louisiana and get you a nice seafood platter. In Louisiana, we like to fry up everything. So soft shell crabs, oysters, definitely catfish. Catfish is big. Shrimp fried up. Louisiana fish fry is a big product here. People love to buy it and fry up. Like I said, catfish is very popular. But also, you know, soft shell crabs oysters shrimp you like to fry it all up in louisiana so when you come here make sure you save a little room for some fried seafood now the next food you must try when you come to louisiana is the muffalato now the muffalato sandwich is more popular in new orleans than most other parts of the state but you can find this sandwich all over the state the muffalato originated amongst italian immigrants in new orleans which explains why it's mostly popular in new orleans but it's sicilian italian bread and on that bread you will find an olive salad pickled vegetables cheese a variety of meats mainly ham and salami the next one is one that most people who aren't from louisiana may have never had this but they've definitely heard of gumbo and gumbo is a creole stew stew or soup combination with american african indian and european elements to it now the key to the gumbo is the roux at the bottom the the roux the filet powder the herb the ground leaves, the tomatoes, that makes the base of the gumbo. And of course, gumbo can be made with a lot of different meats. When you're talking meats, you're talking andouille sausage. You're also talking chicken. You're talking crab. You're talking shrimp, crawfish, even alligator meat, but a lot of different varieties of meat. Gumbo is a word that's actually a word for okra. And okra is actually one of the main ingredients in gumbo. But gumbo is all about the power and flavor. Now, me personally, I'm sort of a gumbo snob, so I like a good gumbo. The next item you should try when you're in Louisiana is going to be crackling. Crackling is going to be one of the items. It goes along with boudin. It's at its absolute best 
and I would say the Acadiana portion of the state to the southwestern corner of the state of Louisiana, Lafayette, Bro Bridge. My favorite place to get crackling is a place called Famous Cajun Foods in Lake Charles, Louisiana, where they have soft and spicy crackling. Generally, crackling is a little bit hard. It's pretty much the the outer shell, the hard end of the skin of a pig. So generally, by definition, it's a little bit harder and crunchier. But I really enjoy the 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 crackling at the famous food place that I'm telling you about in Lake Charles because you can actually get soft crackling, but all crackling is really good when done right. So I also enjoyed the crackling at Billy's Boudin that I went to, and that crackling is not soft, but it's a little bit on the spicy side, not real spicy, but crackling is one of those things. You have to try it when you come to Louisiana. Trust me, you'll enjoy it. And now I'm going to say my favorite for last, a little two-in-one. We're going to say shrimp, and we're going to say etouffee. Starting with shrimp, boiled shrimp in Louisiana is everywhere. It's very prevalent, and you can do so much with boiled shrimp, and I can literally eat shrimp all day long. Just give me a little sauce, some romalade, some tartar sauce, and I can just tear down the boiled shrimp. Now, the etouffee, on the other hand, there's etouffee and shrimp crawfish, as well as chicken etouffee. My favorite is the shrimp etouffee. Now, the etouffee sauce, if you're wondering how to make it, it's basically out of roux, onion, celery, and bell peppers, or as they call in Louisiana, the, the trinity. You put those sauces together, great roux right there. It's fantastic. There's nothing better. And the last five for bonus, boiled meat, which is going to be in a crawfish boil, like your potatoes and corn and all. Red beans and rice, which you know I don't eat beans. I won't get into that. Char broiled oysters, alligator sausage, and blackened fish. Those are all popular dishes in Louisiana. And that's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I ask that you please hit the like. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the bell notification so you can know when I have more material coming out in the future. Help us to continue to grow as a travel community. And as always, remember, live today, grow today, tomorrow's never guaranteed. Peace and Boudin. Lots and lots of Boudin. Y'all, please hit the like, the subscribe button, and please hit the bell notification. And leave any comments below. I love to interact. Help us to continue to grow as a community.